and welcome to Driver's Room. This is the Festival of Speed Season 3, Round 4 for Tier 2. Today we're coming from Alsace Village, the number 2 layout. Before we head down to see who's took the honours in qualifying, let's take a quick look at the team standings. So after Round 3, the team standings look like this. Neon Knights still in the lead with 122 points. Team Firestorm close behind on 114. We have Non Plus Ultra in third on 86 points. Team Pegasus on 84. We have JB Lads in fifth on 64 points. We have Team Sega in the sixth on 57. And last but not least, Big Scary Goat on 42 points. So that's your team standings. Let's head on down to the grid and see who got where in qualifying. On pole, we have Kamaru on Racing Supersofts. Uh, taking his third straight pole, Kim is starting to really take a grip on the Tier 2 Championship, with no one seemingly able to match his pace over a 30 minute race distance. And second, we have Speed on Racing Supersofts. Looks like he has found his sweet spot with the setup for the McLaren F1. Unfortunately, this will be the final round he gets to use that car uh, as we come up to the mid-season switch. After finishing an 11th last time out, and he's now starting from second today, it's going to give him a fantastic opportunity for some good points for BSG. And third, we have JC on Racing Supersofts. Unfortunately, in the last round, he was pipped at the line by Jason for the third place spot. And uh, it was by literally a bumper's width as they crossed the line. Uh, JC starting from third today. He's got Jason just behind him. We'll be looking to keep him there and grab that podium spot for himself this week. And as we just mentioned, in fourth, we have Jason on Racing Super Softs. Mr. Sunday has continued his great form on the Sunday evening races. Uh, as we mentioned, he dived past JC on the line for another top three finish. He's starting from fourth today. He's going to uh, be looking, no doubt, to put the pressure on and get past the guys in front to back up his teammate on pole. In fifth, we have Nightmare Racer on Racing Super Softs. A steady season for Nightmare, uh, being he is the lone Neon Knights car in Tier 2. Uh, finishing in 8th for Round 3, a uh, decent qualifying result today. Uh, it's going to give him a decent chance to attack the guys in front. As we know, he's got some really good pace in this Aston Martin, uh, as he's shown in Round 1. So let's see if he can rekindle some of that today. In 6th, we have Boss on Racing Supersofts. The big dog of DRFS has had a steady season so far. Uh, in an interview we grabbed with him recently, he admitted his qualifying isn't his strongest uh, part of his race weekend. So starting from 6th today, we should uh, be able to see him take advantage of his uh, superior race pace and strategy and uh, get a decent result today for Team Pegasus. In 7th, we have myself, Craig P, on Racing Softs. Uh, probably the less said about myself, the better. <laughs> this season has been a struggle after struggle. Another uh, DNF last round. Uh, as we can see, qualifying at 7th today. Qualifying isn't really my uh, Achilles heel or my downfall. Just as soon as the race starts, everything goes backwards fast. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get a better result today and maybe see the check and flag. Uh, help out Team Firestorm. In 8th we have Grim on Racing Softs. Grim has provided some fantastic battles so far in Season 3 uh, across all the series he's taken part in. And he's uh, really been uh, racing really well. Uh, he's finished 7th in the last round. Uh, so let's see if uh, he can battle further up the grid uh, today. His, uh Although off the start line, he's been pretty rapid lately, so I expect to see him jump maybe a couple of people uh, as soon as the lights turn green. In ninth, we've got Terminal Goat on Racing Super Softs. Uh, normally, Goat is a front runner, but he finds himself down in P9. Uh, caught up with him after qualifying and asked what the issue was. Um, he simply said he's uh, messed with the setup and now it sucks. 
unfortunately uh, with park Ferme rules in place uh, that setup's going to be the same for goat for the race so i imagine it's probably gonna suck in the race as well we'll see how he gets on today uh also he hasn't switched his uh livery to bsg yet but he is part of the bsg team in tent we've got uh jammy d he's got a uh, racing soft on the front and a racing super soft on the rear uh, he still seems to be finding his feet in his new Pegasus team. Uh, Jamie hasn't been able to find the pace that he has shown in races. Uh, he's been finishing towards the back end of the grid, unfortunately, in Season 3. Uh, the only positive for Jamie we've seen so far is the bad luck that plagued him through Season 2 seems to have gone for now. Uh, so let's see if he can uh, refine his mojo and get back up towards the front of the grid. In 11th, we've got Monroe on Racing Softs. Uh, continuing his journey with the Driver's Room Academy, Monroe's races are improving uh, every week. Uh, so the only way is up for this racer. Let's see if he can get up into the midfield very soon. And in 12th, we've got uh, Scary Guy on Racing Softs been plagued with more and more connection issues uh, all season. We've seen that uh, at the end of season two when he joined us in DRFS. Um, so we haven't seen what Gary can do. Um, I've actually raced with him in a different race series where he didn't have as bad a connection issues. I had a couple of really good races with him. So hopefully he can get his connection sorted out uh, with us in DRFS and we can uh, start to see what he is made of for the BSG team. So that's your grid for round four at Alsace Village. Let's go down to the front and see how the guys get on when the lights go out. So the four red, five red lights and we're green and we're away. Everyone seems to get away clearly. You see in the background there, like I said, Grim diving to the outside. He's getting another quick start. Kamaru up into the lead. Got speed holding on to his second place. Jason has jumped up in third. JC is in fourth. He is now past Jason. No, sorry, speed it was. Speed had a bit of an incident to come down. So that's put JC up in the third. Grim up in the fourth. Nightmare promoted to fifth. Speed is in sixth now after that little mistake. Went up the hill, just caught the front end on the Arco barrier. As we know, things were at Alsace Village are built. Extremely tough, you hit your car into him, you're gonna pay the price. Jammy in 7th, Monroe is in 8th, myself in 9th, Boss in 10th, Terminal in 11th, and Scary Guy, uh, he's got more issues unfortunately. Sucks for Scary Guy. So we've got Kamaru in first, being followed by his teammate Jason in second. This it bodes very well for the championship. Hopefully these guys can hold on to a 1-2 finish. JC in third, great stop, being followed by his teammate Grim, who is being followed very closely by Speed. And he's bringing Nightmare Racer along with him. They just locked up on the break and nearly collected the back end of Grim. But they live to fight another day and Speed is up alongside Grim. He's going right the outside. Can he hang it out there? He is, yep, ahead as we go down to the head. Down the hill, sorry. Into the hairpin. Across the start finish line to end lap one. Speed has dropped from second down to second. And he's back up to fourth by the end of the lap. Great racing from Speed. Grim closing right up under the break in there. Do you think the Aston Martin is a bit better at stopping and turning, but that McLaren has got some grunt. As I said, in the grid walk, this will be the last time we see these drivers in these cars. In round five, they will have swapped to the alternative vehicle, so everybody in the F1 is going to be driving the DBR9, and everyone in the DBR9 is going to swap into the F1. Interesting to see how quickly the guys uh, get up to grips with new 
machinery, new setups, different handling. Unfortunately, it could be like speed, you're finally getting the car dialed in and you're changing <laughs> the next round. See, it's just big lock up a slide there from speed behind JC. See, Nightmare now is trying to take a look at the grip. A hairy coast there from Nightmare. Jump on board on Nightmare as he's hunting down Grim. You hear the tires screaming under the torture. Nightmare is trying to really put pressure on the Grim now as we head down. He's going to have the inside line coming into the hairpin. Just getting up alongside. Great move by Nightmare. Grim's on the outside. We just lost him in the mirrors. Where is he? There he is, job done for Nightmare. Grim still fighting back. Grim's now on the outside. Grim is back past. These two are really going toe to toe here at the moment. This is the kind of racing we want in the driver's room. Very clean, very hard, very fast racing. Uh, all we ask for the main thing of driving through is you are clean and respectful. You can be a driver of any ability and you'll still get treated exactly the same as everybody else as long as you're clean and respectful. And if you like the look of it, come and find us on Discord at Driver's Room or on the Twitter at Driver's Room and you'll get directed on how to get in and how to join up. There's plenty of series going, this race is near every other night. And if there's another series running, somebody's normally got a lobby open doing some city sprints or some sort of top foolery in the car. So come on over and uh, get involved. Um, there's also loads of content out there from uh, the likes of myself at CP Racing. You have Plugs the Duck, Mull underscore CJ. Uh, Rice Racing, AGT Racer, all doing uh, highlight videos for all of our suits. You see, oh, JC has dropped it. Just as I'm saying that, JC has dropped it coming out of the 90 degree. He must have got some wheels on the grass. Easy enough to do if you try and carry too much speed through. Oh, that's such a shame for JC. He was having a great run. Disaster for JC. That's promoted everybody up one. Speed now into third, Grim into fourth, Nightmare into fifth, although they'll probably change to fifth and fourth again, like they've been doing for the past lap and a half. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, get on those other YouTube channels, those guys, get on, like them, subscribe. Uh, we also have a lot of live streamers, it's too many to actually name, and I can't remember most of them, but uh, it's Kamara75. Jammy D, Midlife Racing, uh, Big Shadow Motorsport, I think it is. Uh, there's loads that uh, live stream, so uh, keep an eye out for them. And oh, I've well, actually missed one of the higher divisions. You also have uh, Jack Bowers on Facebook. He's uh, started doing the Asian uh, Super Swim series, the highlight videos for them. So. Hop on over to his channel, subscribe and like the videos. And then if you like what you see, get involved with that as well. There's plenty of races, plenty of things to do over here at the driver's room. But back to the racing, we have Grim and Nightmare side by side yet again. These two are just showing the pinnacle of racing and what we like to see in the driver's room. Fantastic from the two of them. 100% survival shown from both no banging, no bashing, just side by side racing. This is absolutely amazing from the pair of them. If we ever did an award ceremony at the end of the uh, year, the uh, best race sequence would have to go to these two guys. That is in 
two laps now, they've been pretty much side by side. And they don't look like they're going to stop anytime soon. I just can't go away to anybody else. These guys are just putting on an absolute show. And they are back alongside each other again. <laughs> Even there you see Nightmare getting squirrely out of the corner, doesn't make contact with Grim, there's enough space left by both drivers. If only more people who played this game race like this, we would all have a fantastic time, even in the dailies and the FIAs, unfortunately they don't. Uh, Nightmare is back into fourth, Grim into fifth for the time being. Settled down there, so we'll just take a quick run through the grid after we've been watching these guys. And they're a fantastic display for the past couple of laps. We still have Kamaru in first, he now has a 6.7 second lead over Jason in second, who is now in the pits. Just gonna promote speed up to second. Covering after his first lap spin. Jason now out in third. We've got Nightmare in fourth, pulling away a little bit now from Grim. And the tyres starting to affect that battle. Grim's just a little bit more worn than Nightmare's. Got Jammy D in sixth. Monroe having a fantastic drive in seventh, being followed closely by JC in eighth, Boss in ninth, and then Terminal Goat into the pits in tenth. Kim's going to be looking maybe to pit in the next few laps. His tyres are starting to look like they can do with it. Same for speed, Jason is just out of the pits, so he'll be closing on speed, fast. Nightmare, gonna be needing the pit soon, so is Grim and Jammy. JC has been in the pits, recovering now after his earlier spin. <coughs> Excuse me, Monroe just struggling there a little bit with his tire wear, but he's not gonna slow it down. Boss with a new set of boots is making his way onto the back of Monroe and Terminal Goat after his uh, setup woes is still towards the back. We've lost myself and we've lost Scary Guy. Kim is carrying on. Speed coming right, he's also carrying on. Tires are terrible, he's really gonna have to come in soon. Those speeds are carrying on, that's maybe not a great choice from speed. Those tires are really, really gonna be letting down now. See 153, 154. Jason on fresh rubber is just gonna be closing in there to get past him. But Rose Diamond in the pits as well in the background there. Nightmare still out, he had to stop. Grim chasing him down. Jammy holding well in sixth. So a bit on his own now after the boss is done. JC is starting to battle back now. He's also gone into the pits and changed. Boss has stopped, he's got some fresh rubber on. Monroe also after a tire change. Going very well, Monroe in ninth. He's had a great race so far, Monroe. He's, uh, you can definitely see the improvements week on week. It's uh, great to see. Uh, happy for the guy. Hopefully, he can get up into the middle of the pack and get really dicing with these guys ahead. Uh, 
and Terminal Goat was still struggling at the back after his uh, setup woes. This will teach your kids if it's not broke, don't fiddle with it. See Kim now diving into the pits, trying to get a change of rubber. Jason has got past speed, which was inevitable with the tire difference. Speed is going to have to come on the pits now. And he does. So Jason to back up in the second. Kim come out back in first on his way up the hill already. Nightmare is coming down the start finish straight. And you see Speed just coming out ahead of him. Grim has gone into the pits. He's maybe going to look to undercut Nightmare. Jammy as well staying in. Jammy started with the mixed compounds of softs on the front race and some softs on the rear. So his tire wear is better than most due to the harder compound on the front. Grim has switched over the racing softs. Sorry, he was already on racing softs, he hasn't switched either. <laughs> it's okay, I haven't been drinking and it's fine. Just tired. So JC is uh, well into his recovery drive now after that mistake on the early laps. Fortunately, it cost him a few places after a great qualifying, a great start to the race. Pass is down in eight, so he has a long pitted, so he'll be looking to fight back through ahead of the guys out in front. guy in the league of his own out in the front strolling away again he's reaching the halfway point of the race Kim is looking set to take yet another ball to win victory uh, Mr. Sunday Jason Haldea is taking another fantastic drive so far Sunday form has really come on in recent weeks He's uh, really taking the fight to the other guys, helping uh, Team Firestorm getting close to challenging for the Season 3 Team Trophy. Speed going very well after what seems to be figuring out his F1. Fortunately, this is the last time he'll use it after figuring it out. After this round, round 4, we will be switching cars. So everybody you see in this race in the McLaren F1 will be switching to the Aston Martin DBR9 and the same for the guys in the Aston Martins will be switching to the F1. So interesting to see how quickly guys get on top of the machinery after the switch. Nightmare's just been in and out the pits and it's got it just ahead of Grim so they're going to renew their battle. Really going at it, hammer and tongs. You see, nightmares on the super soft tyres. They yeah, have just a fraction more grip than uh, Grimwell. Well, actually, pop on board with Grim and follow him through some of these corners while he's battling nightmare. Could just be the fact that uh, Nightmare has slightly better tyres on the Super Softs than Grim Softs, giving Nightmare an advantage. The front end of Boss's car looking uh, worse for wear, to say the least. He's now up at the six, and 
Jamie coming out of the pits now in seventh after his pit stop. JC down in eighth. Munro chasing him down. Skinner with squarely under power. Goat still struggling at the back in tenth. One man who isn't struggling though is this man, Kimaru. He's uh, really stretching out the gap now. He's uh, 18.4 seconds back to speed. Speed's got past Jason again. Jason's six seconds behind speed. So Jason's had an issue somewhere. He's still on the podium. Let's see if he can fight back. He is on the recent softs, but they are looking quite worn now. Can't speed take advantage of this now. Six second gap back to Jason. Can he hold on? Jason's been dead, Jason's dropping down the fourth, fifth. Oh, he's gonna go in and get some new tires. Just approaching the 20th minute. What is he gonna swap to? Back out on super softs. Let's see, can he climb back up his head down the sixth place? It's all going horribly wrong for Mr. Sunday at the moment. Boss just ahead of him. Grim has dropped back a little bit now from Nightman. Nightman have promoted up to third. Seventh, he's getting caught by JC. These uh, non plus ultra boys like to have a good dust up during the race. You see him battling all the time. JC trying to line up Jamie in the Pegasus car ahead. Can't see Jamie's number on it just. JC got a decent exit out of that corner compared to Jam. He's closing right on the back end of him now. Will he be able to get him on the break and heading down to this right hander? No, just backs off a bit. So not many places on this next section to overtake unless the other guy makes a mistake. They're both breaking pretty much the same for most of these corners in this flowing section. Maybe getting down into the uh, pretty much 90 degree left hander. This is just looking at the inside there. They both were a little bit wide. Jamie went a little bit further. JC now up alongside. Can he get past him and make it stick? He accelerates at the corner and JC is in front. Just able to get tight lines to Jamie. Got him past. Runs a bit wide there on the grass near the D 
the area he had that accident earlier on in the race. So we have Kamara now. Still running away with it in first. Speed, as you can see in the background, as in the pits, so is Nightmare. Where is Grim gonna be? He's still behind Nightmare. That's a horrible pit exit on this lane. You see Jason is fighting his way back. He's up into fifth. Get involved in the Grim and Nightmare Battle. And she's really closing on the back of Grim quite quickly. So, much better tyres than Grim, so he can turn in and stop a bit better than Grim can get the line. So Jason just looking for a gap. He's poking his nose in the areas, trying to see a bit of daylight this guy, he's getting up alongside, but he's up on the outside, so he's going to drop it back behind, but he goes for a switch back, it's not really going to work there, see if he can get him on, oh, Graham just hits the sausage as he goes through there, Jason backs off, very gentleman racing there from Jason, he just backs off like Graham regather the car. Jason now has the inside line and he's up at the fourth. Great run from these pair. So Grim just hit that dip and the sausage and settled the car. Jason backed off in order not to hit him and let him regain control. It's uh, all about respect here in the driver's room and that was 100% uh, respect shown there. Jason's got to try and close down. Graham diving in the pits now, so Jason will try and close down Nightmare. So, uh, just under a two second gap between the two of them, so it's all to play for. Speed is safe from the pair of them at this point in the race as we've got uh, just over four minutes left of the race. This man is 100% safe and has been safe since pretty much the start of the race. Uh, just showing his uh, dominance in tier two this year. Basically, Dragon Team Firestorm kicking and streaming after Neon Knights. Uh, Jason giving him great backup behind, so hopefully they can take the fight on and stop the uh, three peat of Neon Knights. Token of Neon Knights and Nightmare Racer is still in third. Really good do on that uh, championship battle talk of this guy again and past. Three and a half minutes left to go. It's uh, gonna be tight because he's actually losing ground to him now. As we're approaching the, the last few uh, minutes of the race, there's not really many battles going on now, everyone's settled down to their positions. <laughs> that car's going to need a thoroughly good repaint. Well, terminal, but fair play to him, he's uh, stuck at it, battled on through. Nightmare has, you see Jason's fuel light just starting to flash. 
last fuel and then hopefully he hasn't underfueled. Well, we have a yellow flag JC unfortunately has dropped it again. That's gonna promote this one jammy up into seventh. He's struggling to get a go and he's got a straight line and he's on his way. Kamara has taken the fastest lap on the last lap there. 148.9. He's really pushing towards the end of the race now. He's had enough of said back. We're into the last minute now, so Kim's gonna have one more lap to do after this. See, speed is starting to catch. Uh, Turbo is teammate. Nightmare is in third and is gonna keep third. They're not gonna get another lap. Jason's not gonna catch him, unfortunately. Grim had some fantastic battles with Nightmare earlier on in the race, side by side for nearly a full lap. He's gonna finish in fifth. We'll head on down towards see Kim starting his final lap there. He's gonna be the only one doing one more lap. As we see Speed coming down the hill for the final time towards the hairpin. Fantastic race from Speed today after, after finishing 11th in the last race. Oh, wonderful uh, second place for him today some great points for bsg congratulations to him nightmare coming home in third he's had a great race battling it out for most of it with uh, agt racer or agt grimlock sorry as we see jason i'm breaking it across the line and grim coming home to take fifth Boss coming home in sec. There's a Pegasus teammate, Jamie D. Coming around the final corner to take seventh. JC. Having a bit of lag there. Is uh, coming home to finish in eighth. I think he tried to do a handbrake, but the lag stopped him. Munro coming home in ninth. Terminal Goats already finished in 10th. And we have Gamaro, today's pole setter. And it's gone pole to victory for Team Firestorm. Congratulations to him as he's coming down around the final hairpin to take the jacket flag. Oh, we're doing a bit of acrobatics. <laughs> That's it for round three.